lack of thermal insulation is a direct cause of increased costs for heating and cooling of a building. An average family house loses up to 40% of its energy. At the same time, due to the lack of thermal insulation, unsatisfactory living conditions are created, such as unstable air humidity and poor microclimate in the room, condensation and mold on the walls, inadequate sound insulation also, such buildings are subject to accelerated aging and decay of the outer walls, which further impairs their aesthetics. In other words, the installation of thermal insulation, in addition to providing pleasant and healthy living conditions in a particular space, can save up to 40% of heating and cooling costs. The savings can be influenced by the adequate selection of the thermal insulation facade system, the choice of the appropriate thickness of the thermal insulation panels that are installed on the facade. It is not the same installing an insulation panel of 5.810 and one that is 15 cm thick on the facade of one building, with already installed insulation of the roof, floors, windows and doors. The thicker the thermal insulation panels, the better the thermal insulation and greater the savings. The price of thermal insulation panels of different thicknesses is often negligible in relation to the savings it brings. The absence of thermal insulation leads to a negative impact on the environment as well. Excessive energy consumption due to heating and cooling significantly contributes to environmental pollution, high CO2 emissions, as well as increased consumption of limited natural resources. Improperly installed or a poor quality thermal insulation facade system can cause additional damage to the building and produce insufficient cost savings in relation to the investment. Also, in the case of a non-functional or low-quality system, problems such as unstable temperature and humidity in the room, condensation, mold, the appearance of cold bridges or impaired aesthetics, will not be solved. Additional difficulties may arise during the installation of the thermal insulation facade system itself, if professional technical support has not been consulted when selecting the system. Also, adequate selection of contractors is very important. Improperly installed thermal insulation facade system can hardly be repaired locally, and most often the complete installation of the system must be completely repeated. Inadequate thermal insulation without a certified material system is not subject to warranty, which excludes possible support from the manufacturer in the technical sense, as well as repair of the issue. In a building that is thermally well insulated, the consumption of energy for heating and cooling is significantly lower, while with a stable temperature and humidity, the stay in it is much more pleasant for living and working. An energy-efficient building saves energy, its lifespan is much longer, and the direct positive impact on environmental protection should not be neglected, either. In order to start the construction of the Becatherm thermal insulation facade, it is necessary to have completed all wet works inside the building, completed roofing and tinsmith works, completed installation of window and door openings on the facade of the building, in other words, installation of window drips, and completed assembly of installations provided on the facade. Before starting work on the installation of Becatherm Standard White and Becatherm Plus Thermal Insulation Facade Systems, it is necessary to prepare the appropriate tools. When performing works, the contractor should have appropriate equipment. Protective work suit protective shoes, cap and protective gloves. After good preparation, work on the installation of Becatherm facade insulation can begin. It is checked using an aluminum level, the so-called ruler in all directions. Deviations in terms of recesses or protrusions must not be greater than plus minus one centimeter at a length of three meters. Before gluing the thermal insulation panel, we recommend applying BK Ultra Prime Universal Base. BK Ultra Prime Base, 1, binds dust perfectly, 2, improves adhesion, 3, equalizes absorption.
To install the Becatherm facade, it is first necessary to install the initial band. The initial installation line is determined, most often on the Soko line, and outlined with masonry thread. Along this line, an initial aluminum batten is installed, which protects the lower edge, enables proper fitting horizontally, and forms a drip tip. The batten is screwed to the wall, and if there are irregularities on the walls, distances are placed and an angle of 45 degrees is made. After applying the initial batten, prepare the glue, mixing the appropriate amount of water and powder. Mix with an electric mixer until the homogeneous mass is obtained, and then the glue is left to rise for about 10 minutes. After that, the material is mixed again until complete homogenization of the mass. The next stage is gluing the insulation panels. For this purpose, BK Steel Fix WDVS, adhesive for gluing apps and MW panels and mesh reinforcement is used. Glue is applied linearly along the edges and dotted in the middle of the EPS panel. This glue has excellent workability, adhesion to various types of substrates, and it achieves firmness quickly. Now the panels are carefully placed on the wall, and at the same time they lean on the beginning of the batten, on which we have carefully applied the glue for better adhesion of the panels to the starting batten. Becatherm EPS F100 mm is a system of expanded polystyrene panels, which is intended for installation in contact thermal insulation facade systems. These panels are an excellent thermal insulator, guarantee high energy savings, are long-lasting and durable, are characterized by simple processing, and maintain the stability of shape and form. Shear plates are installed in the second row. When installing around windows, it is important to cut EPS panels in pieces, and never line them along the direction of the edges of the window or door. Then we move on to Becatherm Plus facade system for thermal insulation of the abutment, or if you like Sokol. After previously applied BK Ultra Prime, Universal Base, BK Hydro's Top 2 is applied to the Sokol, which is a two-component waterproofing polymer cement coating for horizontal and vertical protection of surfaces from moisture. It is used for waterproofing of the Sokol. Then BK Sterile Fix Special is used, a highly flexible glue for gluing EPS Styrofoam, Graphite EPS, XPS Styro Dewar, Mineral Will and Mesh Reinforcement. This glue has an ADA certificate, contains fibers, is highly flexible, has excellent workability and high vapor permeability. After preparing the adhesive, you can start gluing BK Dur XPS extruded polystyrene panel, resistant to moisture and high compression loads. Before proceeding to the next phase of operation or reinforcement of the system, it is necessary to first make a preparation consisting of cutting out of corners, sanding the panels and preparation of BK Sterile Fix 1, flexible adhesive for reinforcement. Imperfect joints between EPS panels are filled with BK per EPS cleaver, polyurethane glue for EPS panels, and the excess is removed with a scalpel after complete drying. We additionally fasten the panels with anchors. Anchoring is done 24 hours after gluing of the EPS panels. Anchors are installed with and without plugs, according to Scheme A or Scheme B. After the preparation phase, the reinforcement of details is approached, protection of window openings, setting the PVC profile, Installation of drip profiles. Setting corner profiles.
strengthening the corners of the openings. Reinforcement is approached at least two days after gluing of the EPS panels. The first layer of glue is applied with a serrated trowel. BK Sterile Fix 1, a flexible adhesive for gluing EPS, graphite EPS, mineral wool and mesh reinforcement, is used for reinforcement. This adhesive has the ADA certificate, extremely flexible, has excellent workability, high vapor permeability, and contains fibers. Then the dipping phase of the facade mesh is initiated. Facade mesh is installed over the entire surface in a layer of construction adhesive, with an overlap of at least 10 cm at all joints of the mesh. The same principle is used for dipping the mesh on the sokal, but over the panels made of extruded polystyrene styrator. BK Sterile Fix Special, a highly flexible adhesive for reinforcement, is used. After that, a second layer of glue is applied with a trowel, in order to protect the reinforced layer, and the final leveling of the complete surface of the facade, before the installation of the final layer. The next step is the preparation of the final facade plaster, which uses a mixed tinting system. As a base coat, substrate or primer that is applied before the final facade plaster, BK Grund Universal, has used a universal structural base intended for leveling, neutralizing, strengthening and water repellency of the substrate, before applying facade plasters. It is applied on a solid, clean and dry surface. Before use, it is necessary to dilute BK Grund Universal according to the instructions, mix, and then apply to the wall with a long-haired roller or brush, in one layer. Allow the applied base to dry for 12 hours before applying the top coat. It is recommended to apply BK Grund Universal toning in the shade of the final layer. The type of facade plaster, as well as its shade, is chosen from the catalog and the tone chart, according to the desired characteristics. The installation of the final decorative layer is done about five days after the installation of the mesh. For that purpose, BK Plast is used, a decorative facade plaster with an acrylic base in a paste form, intended for the protection of facade wall surfaces. BK Plast is characterized by exceptional workability, excellent water repellency, resistance to UV radiation and atmospheric influences, as well as a superior aesthetic effect. Before applying the decorative facade plaster, it is necessary to perform leveling, which means pouring several buckets of plaster into one vessel, in order to level the contents. The leveling process contributes to the final appearance of the facade being completely uniform. After leveling, the facade plaster is installed. The excess is removed, and then smoothing is done. When installing the final facade plaster, the number of persons on the contractor's team is very important, due to the limited open time for work with the material, due to its drying. Favorable working conditions are also important when applying the top coat. After the installation of the decorative facade plaster, the final stages of work on the Sokol are carried out. BK Grund Universal Base is applied, which is tinted in relation to the final layer of mosaic facade plaster. BK Cull is installed, a mosaic facade plaster made of multicolored grain for permanent protection of facade surfaces. BK Cull is characterized by exceptional strength resistance to shocks and wear, exceptional water repellency, easy washability, and resistance to UV radiation and atmospheric influences. Works on the installation of Becatherm thermal insulation facade systems have been completed, and this building has become comfortable, safe and protected, regardless of the season. Ecotherm standard white facade system is ADA certified, and with a guarantee of up to 25 years. Becomment, the power, is in our hands.